the Bristol 188 was the British experimental aircraft from the early 1960s designed to explore fly at speeds exceeding Mark II. Its long, thin cylindrical shape earned it the nickname the Flaming Panzer. Despite being a controversial and expensive project, it played a critical role in advancing Britain's aeronautical engineering capabilities. In 1953, the Bristol Aeroplane Company received orders to build one static airframe and two flying prototypes to investigate flight conditions at twice the speed of sound and beyond. These experimental aircraft were initially meant to support the development of the Afro 730, a reconnaissance aircraft and strategic bomber. However, the Afro 730 program were abandoned in 1957 before any aircraft were built. Despite this, the Bristol 188 prototypes were constructed and flown years after the original program's cancellation. One of the primary purposes of the Bristol 188 was to study the effects of prolonged exposure to kinetic heating in supersonic flight. The aircraft was designed to fly for extended periods with a skin temperature reaching 570 degrees Fahrenheit. Unlike most aircraft made of fly aluminum alloys, the Bristol 188 extensively used stainless steel which could withstand greater kinetic heating limits. It also featured a special cockpit refrigeration system to protect the pilot from the extreme temperatures. The Bristol 188's design included a long, slender fuselage with sharply square wings optimized for high-speed flight. The aircraft was powered by two De Havilland Giron Jr. engines which, despite their power, were plagued by high fuel consumption and fuel leak issues. These problems limited the aircraft's ability to achieve its primary goal of starting prolonged supersonic travel. The first prototype of the Bristol 188 took to the air in April 1962, followed by the second one almost exactly a year later. Together, the two flaming panzers perform a total of 70 flights with the longest lasting 48 minutes. The highest speed achieved by the Bristol 188 was 1440 miles per hour or Mach 1.88, an altitude of 36,000 feet. Although this was impressive, it fell short of the project's initial expectations. Despite its advanced design, the Bristol 188 faced significantly challenges. The high fuel consumption of its engines and persistent fuel leak problems hindered its ability to conduct extended supersonic flights. These issues ultimately compromised the aircraft's ability to fulfill its research objectives. In early 1964, it was announced that all activity involving the Bristol 188 could be terminated. By the end of the program, the project had cost 20 million pounds, making it the most expensive research aircraft ever developed in Britain at the time. Although the findings from the Bristol 188 were in many ways inconclusive, the technical data and knowledge garnered from the project contributed significantly to other British high-speed aerospace efforts. The insights gained from the Bristol 188 were instrumental in the development of the Concord supersonic transport. The Concord benefited from the research on materials and aerodynamics principles pioneered by the Bristol 188. Additionally, 
the Bristol 180s work influence the development of the Bristol Olympus 593 power plant, later Rolls-Royce engine, which powered both the Concorde and the BAC TSR2 bomber. In conclusion, the Bristol 180s story is one of the ambitious goals, technical challenges, and significant contributions to aerospace engineering. Despite its limitations and the controversies surrounding its cost, the Flaming Panzer paved the way for future advancements in supersonic flight. Today, one of the Bristol 188 airframes is preserved and displayed at the Royal Air Force Museum in Cosford, Shropshire, serving as a testament to Britain's pioneering spirit in aeronautical research.